Hello there, in this video we'll deploy an extremely powerful Discord bot and it will have commands and when we type video ping, it's a custom prefix, it was dot, we get pong. You will also be able to edit your prefix, let's put it back to dot, why not? And you can ignore channels, you can, we have music, reaction roles, logs, let's get started. So, we're going to start off by cloning 2PG and 2PG dashboard, so make sure you have GitHub desktop, link in the description. Again, Visual Studio Code, so let's get started. Now, let's go to GitHub desktop, clone repository, and we're going to get the URL of 2PG. And then I've made a folder called 2PG video, and then it's going to be in 2PG clone. Okay, so we're gonna make another folder within this called 2pg dashboard, you can call it dashboard, whatever you want. Okay, and then we're going to copy the dashboard, and then we're going to add clone URL. Boom. There's a lot going on here, but we're going to use 2pg dashboard. Cool. And that should do the trick. We are going to open these in Visual Studio Code. Now, a quick way to do that is open with code, or you can use the terminal. I'm going to open with code here. What we can do with 2pg is make a config.json. Now this is important, so make sure you don't mess this part up. Okay, so we're going to copy this in here. Now, obviously these values might be wrong in a few days. They change a lot. They've changed so many times since the last video. So, just use the latest readme version of the config and you should be fine if you're going for a new update. So, yeah, token. Now let's get started with this. So we're going to use a bot. Now I'm going to use 4pg for this. Okay, client ID goes in here. Token, let's regen that. Copy, the token goes here and then in Make sure you make a bot as well. And in client secret, we're going to copy that secret here. And then Discord user ID. Hold on. I'm seeing things. Owner ID, we only need, uh, you can type your user ID in, the Discord user ID, but we only need it if you're logging errors, so I'm just going to leave that blank. It logs dashboard errors, it sends it to your Discord user. Activity, you can set that to whatever you want. API, now, we don't need to change that because we're locally using it. Now, localhost 3000. Make sure the, there's no slash on the end, otherwise you'll get invalid redirect. An error, so... We don't need Stripe, that enables payments, but you can get them from stripe.com. There we go. Guild. Now, that's for payments, if they, they automatically get premium rolls. Now, Lava Link nodes, make sure you have, what Java version are we using? Uh, that's not it, Java dash version. So make sure you have Java 13 at least to use Lava Link. Okay, npm run start music. Should probably be music. Okay, MongoD. Let's go in that. Let's type MongoD. So you also need MongoDB installed locally. So community server. There's a lot of things to install. So you need this, basically. So npm i to install. So what this will do, we need to set the dashboard URL as well. So make, make sure it's set to 4200, which is pointing to this project, your other dashboard project. They both are interdependent. And also, it uses the local database to save data. 
And the, this config changes a lot, it seems to. Okay, so another thing is the OAuth 2 part. We need two redirect URIs that are, just ignore the rest, API slash off and the dashboard URL. So you'll need both local, if you're deploying it, you'll need the actual URL. So make sure you have them. They may change. They've changed once since the last video. So make sure you check the comments if they change. You can also use 2pg.xyz. It seems to be online 24-7. And this is paid hosting if you don't want to host it yourself. Okay, so after it manages to install, we type ngs, that will serve. Okay, so we can type npm start here in 2pg, and that will start the bot. Make sure you have these online at the same time, otherwise you may experience problems, like the bot not working. So, it says API is live on port 3000. Connected to DB and lav link node, that's what you want to see. That means everything should be working correctly. So if we connect to localhost 3000, that's just our built dashboard. It's different from our actual dashboard, as in we can't edit this. This is the fast built version. Okay, so now we can connect to localhost 4200. Now to log in, we do this. And it logs us in. And now we can go and edit the 4PG test server, I guess, the guild. So now if I, if I type ping or something, we get pong. That means our bot is online and working. Okay, now we can go in prefix and set it to um, video. Okay, why not? Video. Video ping. And that will work too. And there you go, there you have your dashboard. I also have another video on how you can deploy this on a website. Currently it's locally, no one else can connect to it. So you can view that if you want. But we've locally hosted it. Another thing is in environment.ts, what you can do is you can customize your own things. It's like the config.json for the dashboard. So you can put your values in here what are you using and it should work for you. If you have any issues then you can join this server here, the link is in the description with 2pg. You can also join this one, the actual 2pg server. There we go. 